Hello, Monster Bound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, and part 28 of my Scarstick campaign, where we're going to hit Castle Drakenhof with literally everything but the kitchen sink, mostly because Greenskins haven't invented indoor plumbing. If they have, it's mostly just poop. It's just, just a lot of... A lot of poop. Anyway, um, they're actually throwing their flying units at us for some reason. I don't entirely understand why, but I guess it's fine. Of course, we've got two armies plus two wars, so the numbers we're bringing onto the battlefield about eight thousand. <laughs> we've got about eight thousand, um, and then of course there's another couple of thousand of the enemy. So there's about ten thousand. Uh, things on the screen at any one time, which means my computer is, understandably, going to struggle a tad. I mean, some of them are dying, which does help, so there is that. Yeah, so as you can see, it's, it's becoming a little bit stuttery, which I think, to be fair, is kind of understandable. <laughs> I mean, frankly, I think it's bloody amazing that there is this many models on screen at any one time and it's only shuddering a little bit. Like, I, I, I genuinely think that's basically a miracle. So these terror guys are having a terrible time because they're being attacked by hordes upon hordes of orcs and goblins we're taking some damage here but it's I'm, I'm very much I mean we've got I mean less than 8,000 now we've got 7,600 things and frankly if we have to replace some of them not really the biggest problem in the world it does look like um our pawn like goblin. Is this is this the black gobbo? I think it might be the black gobbo. He's he's currently he's inside the city and surrounded, so that's not great. We're sending all of our cavalry and monsters against this gate. Our infantry are moving up to engage. I don't know what the war's doing. What are you doing, guys? You're just chilling. I mean they have dealt with the terror guys, so that's something. I mean, so far it's going fairly well, apart from obviously that this guy. He's that's not great. This is the problem when the gate opens and you, your units wander through, even though they technically shouldn't be able to. Never mind. We've got some nasty skulkers coming up, and the gate is down over here, which means our infantry and our sorry, our monsters and squigs are now flooding through. And this is going to be pretty brutal. There's even some uh, night goblins here. Didn't even, didn't even realise I'd sent them. It's, far, it, it, it's a tough battle to control. There's a lot of shit happening. Okay, both gates are down. Perfect. Now we can flood into the city. I mean, th this battle could have been an ultra result, but I feel like when you get the opportunity to throw 8,000 things at someone, you, you should really take the opportunity. Otherwise, what's the point? I mean, these, these Cairn Wraiths are having a terrible time. Having an awful, awful time of it. Jesus. They're still fighting on at this gate, but some, some night goblins did manage to get through. There's a couple of Vargulfs here. They're going to be fairly good at holding the line. They're not the best monsters you can get, but, you know, they're generally okay. 
Here comes our monster horde, just running through anyone that gets in their way. And some Y units now pouring into the city to help out. As we open up this gate, these Vargols have been causing us some issues, but not for much longer because they're about to get very sad for being surrounded. Plus, of course, these trolls have, have got quite a lot of, of melee. They've got 218 melee damage. That's, that's weapon strength, even. That's a lot. That's quite a lot. So they're going to be doing a lot of damage there. As you can see, these guys... The Vargols don't have much leadership, and so they, they, aren't, they do have a tendency to get sad and then die. Meanwhile, it looks like our Night Goblins are fighting up through the walls. Nasty Skulkers doing the same down here. Their 75 melee attack, thanks to the war. Is it the war? Or do they, they, do they literally just have 75 melee attack? They have 75 melee attack. Okay, fine. Whatevs. Okay, we smashed through the last few defenders. There's some... Jesus. Cairn Wraith throwing themselves to their death from the... From the walls. It's... You hate to see it. They're going to break their legs if they have me. Some Y units picking a fight with what's left of the defenders of the city. Some Blood Knights there. There's some uh, Vargeists and a Terror Geist that they decided not to throw at... at us at the start. But um, this, this battle's... This battle's over. This battle is... is very... very over. Well, we lost some goblins, but they're goblins, and we will be able to re-recruit them. Snatch up the best stuff. Um, yeah. Stop this kid. Storm banner, goblin ranter, sapper, stop me scavenger, swindler, blah blah blah. Drum to pull. Lovely. Okay, let's repair all this gubbins, including all these bits. Perfect. Get some defences there. We got the gold mine. Um, don't really need the squick building there. We could use this as like a. Nope. 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 Can't build that there because it's not rank three. Oh, this one's rank three, so we can get the squick building here. Perfect. We probably do want to try and reduce the vampiric corruption. It's probably a good shout. And I guess some trolls. Once you go troll, you don't re-roll. And I'm going to get a public order building as well, because public order here is going to be pretty bad. So we're going to have to kill some shit. Now, who died? Did, did the Black Gobbo die? Um, I think he got inside the gates. And then dropped dead. But it seems like he's absolutely Fine, so that's good. You can have... Attack the gate, he went through, he got stuck inside the city, and then got squished. But he's okay. Who needs well, a great many people. A great many people need a good old hard stab. Going to big lads, won't we? So let's continue with that. Or you can, yeah, let's do. Right, we've conquered Sylvania. That's good. I think we're just going to. I think we're just going to to win the campaign. Well, assuming Archeon never shows up because he still hasn't shown up, and that's that's problematic. That's very problematic. But we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we just need one more. So that's actually not too bad. That's 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 fine. Um, as long as we don't... In fact, if we get a military alliance with you... With we you. have a military... Isn't Lemia one of the... It, it, well, is, am I counting Lemia as well? I am counting Lemia as well. Yep, okay, good. 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 
good. I mean, if Archeon doesn't spawn soon, then I don't really know what to do, because he should have spawned. He should have spawned ruddy ages ago, and he's just not turning up. What you gonna do about that? Hmm? Hmm? What's the plan? What's the plan? The big old shiny headed dickhead. He's probably watching all the Warhammer 3 videos and and whining on Reddit about how that it's not fair that he doesn't get all the cool units and he just has stupid Chaos Warriors. I'm special. Chaos Warriors don't have psychology to immunity and frenzy. I wonder if like the Chaos Warriors will get the Chaos Warrior units. Like, will they get the specific god units, maybe? Maybe they might get, like, a rejigging, so... You can, like, put your... Put your eggs into one of the Chaos God baskets and get their their special Chaos Warrior units. Maybe? I don't know, but that would seem like a, you know, pretty good idea. Of course, the Chaos Warriors are just more boring than, you know, demons. But... What you gonna do? Right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill that guy. Oh god, so many skill points. So many units, so many fucking skill points. Sweet merciful Jesus. And there is a mod that lets you set them. But it's not being um, maintained anymore. And that does make me a little bit nervous about installing it. Just in case it fucks the save for whatever reason. So... Guess I'm going to have to do this the hard way. It's a little bit annoying, but never mind. It's fine. Right, we've taken Sylvot. Right, the vampires regret their life choices. Thou shalt treat me with the respect. Um, thou shalt fucking treat me with the respect. Speak you big git. I mean, I have murdered every single army you sent against me. And I have taken your homeland, so I don't know what you were thinking. That's a stupid bloody idea, wasn't it? Like you, you, you pretty much had the empire where you wanted them, but no, no, you had to declare war on me. Mind you, I did see on uh, on Reddit today someone bemoaning the um, United Against Us mechanic, which you know, to be holy fuck, which to be fair is to be bemoaned because it's a shit system but what I liked was the fact that they checked the relation between the two factions so I think it was like I think it was a Norskin invited a high elf to declare war or something but they, they didn't have any diplomatic relations with each other because they'd never met each other so somehow they had they had communicated the fact that they should declare war on the player without having met each other yet which is astounding Really, but just goes to show how fucking awful that the actual system is. Can you feel it? Finally, gee, oh. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> what the fuck happened then? Hang on, H hang on, hang what? <laughs> What? He doesn't look wounded. Um. Do we? Hang on. Do we have a? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nagarot. Oh. No, because they take a nagger. Oh, oh, wait, what? Eh? Eh? Huh. In all my days, I never thought to see a groby come begging for favors. You like me, you big beardy shit. Um. Okay. I mean, fine. F fine. F f um. I mean, all right. Oh, well, okay. Well, let's go and. I, don't, I mean, sure. We'll, we'll go and duff up Archeon and we'll call that a win because fuck knows what's going on.
absolutely God knows. So I'm going to leave Grom here to look after... Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. To look after Castle Drakenhof. And we'll send everyone... I should probably send Grom. No, uh, Grom. Grimgore. Do I need Grimgore? Eh, ah, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. That'd be alright. Let's take what should be ours. Indeed. I it. I will. Let's go and bop old Heinrich over here. Spell snooze. Stabby stabby. That army looked fucking awful to fight. <laughs> oh, and more magic resistance. That's nice. Don't you already give your army magic resistance anyway? Blam, 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 blam. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, maybe not. Okay. Oh, I mean, I, I genuinely have no idea. I mean, obviously, it, it seems like these guys took a city, so that's that's why. But I don't understand why Archeon both spawned and then... Decided he was wounded at the same time. Maybe he was... Maybe all the shit talking I did about him not turning up. Maybe eventually he did out, out of sheer sort of like guilt and yet I'd wounded him so emotionally that uh, that he may, he may not be actually wounded on the outside but in inside. Inside he's a, he's a knot of anxiety and sadness. Uh, what's this? Sure, obedience. Ruby Red Ring of Ruin. Let's just be hopping up together. The tribe's ready. We've got a while for another eight turns. Me. With that said, if I can bring all eight armies in together, I'd probably prefer to do that. <laughs> God, there can't be fucking armies there. Oh, uh, where's Archeon? That's the question. Where's the big old shiny-headed dick anyway? Gavin, where are you? Arche where, where have we gone? You around here? Are you actually wounded? Fuck knows. Oh, apparently you're, you're staying home, are you? Apparently staying home. Fine. Whatevs. See if I give a shit. Let's give you Ed Butt. I have seen the future. Yeah. Good. I'm, gone. <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about like having the settlements because. This is all about just bopping Archeon. It's probably called a like. Not too bad. Not too bad. Thou hast nothing to offer me. Really, you don't want like I I would take a peace oh, treaty yes. if I were you. I guess you really hate my guts. But to be fair, you started it, so you know. Let's shank Arnold over there. And put you in ambush stance. Not too worried about any of that. It's all about bopping Archeon. Right, I want to bring all of the armies up together. Who should we attack? The tribe's ready. Because. You need me. I feel like the vampires probably are just looking warlord for an excuse to, to pick a fight. The Greyheads come! Don't care. Do not give a flying... Are you damaging my building? You muff... If it... Is this Melissa Rettap again? Never. Oh, fuck it. It is! It... I can see who it is. No, no, no not me. Not, no, definitely not. It is. I can see it's you. Yeah, not me. Just, just any old normal vampire. Don't, don't, no, don't worry about me. Hello. I mean, you've got a lot of cavalry. Not generally the best thing to take against uh, a, a city. So I'm not super worried about you picking a fight. But what I might do is see if we can lure this army into an ambush. 
There do seem to be a lot of... Hello? Oh no. Oh no, not these wankers. They're the worst. Oh, they're the worst. I hate them so much. Oh, I hate those guys so much. <clears throat> okay. Okay, never mind. Right, we're going to hinder replenishment because... Duh, duh. Are you... Wait, are you all... A high elf, a wood elf, and a beast man. All... All joining hands. See, this, this is why I don't want to go to Wolf 1, because I'll have to fight my way through wood elves, Bretonians, high elves, and they'll all have fucking stacks and stacks of armies. And it's not like I can't do it. I'm special. It's it's just it would uh, it would it would be really boring to slog my way through all that shit. And realistically, at this point, I should be like you know capable of like murdering my way through everything. But is Archeon just like chilling at home? I mean, literally chilling. He's he's not moved. The rest of the Hordes of Chaos are on their way, but he's just dicking about in in the Chaos Wastes. He doesn't seem particularly interested in um, in leaving. No. Mali failed. Never mind. Make it quick. Has got wicked schemes to plot. Um, sure. Why do you like me now? Is it because treaties with Nagarond? Yeah, what's left of Nagarond anyway? Huh? Who the f... Oh, uh, this must be... Grimgore's War? Well, we're definitely not doing that. And apparently the beast, the Bretonians and, and the vampires seem to be pretty chill with each other. So that's nice. So literally fighting everyone in the entire world. Apart from the Dark Elves, who now live in Warhammer, England. Okie doke. Right, well, no, Archeon has... is, is not moving. Apparently he's just... he's just relaxing. So that's nice. That's good for him. And it looks like the vampires, rather than move to defend what's left of their empire, are charging back home to try and deal with me. Which is fine, I guess. Hello, guys. Hello. I'm leaving. What? Yes, it shall be. Okay, do you wanna do you wanna ruck or are you gonna be pansies of Oh you wanna ruck? Okay, that's a lot of Grail Guardians, that's all I'm saying. So it's, it's a lot of gra that's, that's that's quite a few Grail Guardians. I'm gonna put you two on auto control. So many knights. Will it be okay with a lot of war units? It feels like a very messy battle to have. But fuck it, whatever. Now, although Azhag's forces can vanguard deploy, I decided to hold them back because although I had reinforcements coming on this edge, I was hoping that my my Wurzag reinforcements would be coming on over here, but of course they came on over here, so we're going to have to do this the hard way. Never mind. Not the end of the world. I mean, for me. For these peasants, things are about to get jammy. Brutal. So we've got our biggins charging towards this blob over here. We've got our savage orcs charging up the hill to deal with both of the the Grail Knights and the Men at Arms. And this is King Luan Luan Kerr. Plus, we've got War Forces. We've got our Orc Biggins waiting to engage with some Grail Knights. And Thograt, Throat Cruncher, is going to lead the charge. In they go there. These guys should do fairly well against them. Plus, we're going to get the, ni the nice charge in their flank, which of course means they're not going to get their charge bonus of 126. My goodness, that's quite high, isn't it? Uh, this is a bit of a, a bit of a mess. There's there's knights everywhere, there's orcs everywhere, trying to work out who's doing what is is basically impossible. It's it's a slaughter. 
these ground lights don't do very well when you can just smash through their physical resistance because they do have quite a chunk of physical resistance but of course all of our savage orcs have magical attacks in fact everyone in, in Wurzag's army including Mark and Jeff have magical attacks which means that uh, we completely bypass that and then we've got Biggins advancing up the hill on top of that which means a lot of this infantry is about to get overrun and of course all of our Biggins have anti-large bonuses I mean it's not a huge bonus but it is a bonus it's, it's not really going to help on top of their 80 weapon strength and 82 melee attack. It's, it, I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's not really going to make the, the difference. Small boys, so our leader unit is getting, getting its ass kicked. But it's the wire unit, and so I don't care. Looks like Bretonia, despite having a very nasty army, is, is in a lot of trouble. Trying to counter a charge. Mr. Chuckles is already there. And now they're completely surrounded. So it'd have been even quicker. I've set up by Orc Biggins. Closer. Hi, Luan. Well, that knocks some heads together. I mean, almost 10k just winning the battle. And that army is out of here. What about these guys? Who we got? No. Two nameless goons. Ask another. I have seen the future. We could just go into ambush, see if we can lure them in again. Does it like what the fuck are you doing? What's this glowy shit? Lilith's blessing. Ugh. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not having it. I'm not having this shenanigans. Oh, Alice, you're the worst. You are the fucking worst. Uh, let's go with smash them faster. No, we were we were going for lightning strike, weren't we? That's what we were doing. I remember now. I I didn't I didn't forget. I remembered. I'm the best. Let's get a nasty skulker with you and. You running away? You ran through me. I feel like I should have got a, an opportunity to murder you at that point. Oh, God. High elves and Bretonians. So many Bretonians. How many settlements have you got? Your strength rank 4. You've only got 16. You've got 46. Oh, God, that's so many settlements. <laughs> <laughs> so many fucking settlements. You're invading the old... I've never seen you invade the old world before. At least normally it takes you a little while to kill Malekith. I guess Malekith just got fucked by... by chaos and apparently wood elves. Very, very aggressive wood elves. They're up here. She is dawn and I am dust. Either can unmake you in an instant. I guess the problem is you don't have the isolationist trait, do you? Because these guys have the isolate you don't have the isolationist trait, which means you will literally lose your shit and just murder everyone. And apparently that's exactly what's happened. We've got fucking wood elves all over Nagarond, which I I never thought I'd see that. And yet and yet here we are. Here we are. We're look we're looking at it. And I'm not I'm not keen. I'm not keen about it, I'll be honest. There's just so many armies. This is kind of the problem with Total Warhammer. I love this game, but... When it gets to this point in the campaign, you literally just like, oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, there's Tyrion down here. There's, there's like, high-off armies sweeping eastwards. 
and I'm fairly sure Chaos is strength rank one at the moment, but I'm I wouldn't be surprised if the high elves were. Okay, good. I'll take that. As we move northwards to fight. Yep, yeah, Archeon is. He's just sulking. He's sulking in the middle of the chaos wastes. <laughs> oh, apparently Numus is dead. Okay. Uh, blah, blah. We're being, ra we're being raided. We're being raided. Okay, Vampiric Corruption is dropping, just not very fast. And you guys have buggered off. Okay. And oh we've got They got a lot of a lot of shooty Bretonians heading in this direction, which is Which is undesirable. Let's put it that way. Very undesirable. Now they'll see. What is looking at the you one? I mean what who what does anyone want really? Supreme ruler of eight peaks. Root. Blah 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 blah. Fine. Okay. That's well. <laughs> <laughs> just the way it just uncovers more and more armies as we. Uh, okay. Well. Fine. Let's have a look at strength ranks. Okay. Yes. So Chaos Warriors are definitely strength That's rank awesome. one. It looks like the High Elves are about as strong as I am, but seeing as I'm fighting... One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen factions, all of which are probably in the... Uh, okay, we're not climbing with... No, okay, you know what, we're not actually at war with them, which is a surprise. We are at war with a lot of people. We're at war with the the, the people in the, the in the first four. In the top five, we're out of war with three of them, but we are one of them. Fine. Well, I guess these guys will have some some issues of their own to deal with. I could maybe try and skirt around them and just go and fuck up Archeon, seeing as he's sulking at the back here, doing absolutely nothing. Which is, is an interesting strategy for him because there's so many notifications that I just have no interest in. Fine, I guess we'll deal with Cedric and the Fey Enchantress then. Oh god, they've got so much artillery. I think it's one of the few times Grimgore's actually taken to the field despite the fact he's got the most expensive army. Oh well. Fortunately, these boys can't die. <laughs> they're basically Im they're be they're basically they're they're, Im they're Im are you immune? You should be immune. You should be immune to being killed. I guess maybe if you get hit by a rock in the head, that probably doesn't. Anywho, good grief! What's that? Six kills. Six kills in one hit. That'll do it. And we've got. Oh, Black Orcs engaging the Grail Guardians. Grail Guardians have got a fairly good charge, but as soon as the Black Orcs pick themselves back up, the tide will turn because, of course, Black Orcs are very nasty, especially these Black Orcs with their 105 weapon strength, uh, 59 melee attack, plus, of course, anti-large as well on top of that, so plus 10 bonus to anti-large. Very, very nice. Here comes the second wave. We do have our war coming in to join the party. I'm fairly sure that my Black Orcs should be able to uh, de deal with all of this. Especially once all of these archers have been squished. So far, so good. We're getting some. We're getting blasted. Swig Hoppers are running in to knock out those pieces of artillery. More and more knights charging in. But as soon as their charge bonus wears off, the Black Orcs start murdering them. There goes our war. 
The Crimson Killers, of course, have have the banner of Grim Gore. Do they have the banner? I think they have the banner, which means they're, they're basically immortal. The Immortals banner. That's the one. They've got the Immortals banner, although it's not showing up. Did I remember to put it on them? Maybe. I can't remember. Unfortunately, what I haven't realised is that my, my Shaman was getting mobbed by by a whole bunch of people, including the Fey Enchantress, and he, I think he exploded. Did his, did his head explode? I think his head exploded. Oops. Oopsie. I'm sure he'll just walk that off. That's just a headache, really, isn't it? That's just a, that's just a bad hangover. I'm sure he'll be fine. So despite really just having a bunch of Black Orcs, um, we've managed to murder a shit ton of Grail Knights. <laughs> and Grimgore has killed 39, and he's heading towards the Fey Enchantress over here. I mean, that's just made it easier to get to your love. Now, considering he's got 97 melee attack and 788 weapon strength, he doesn't seem to be able to hit her very much. It could be that she's healing herself. I think it's I think it's that she's healing herself. Maybe. I don't know, but she doesn't seem to take a lot of that and she does have ward save. How much ward save does she have? 15%. I mean that's not that much. You've got magical attacks, right? You've got magic Yeah, okay, well the Fey Enchantress is running away. I don't blame her, to be honest, with Grimgore chasing after her. I I'd probably run as well. And looks like our Black Orcs, they took a lot of damage. Managed to dish it out. Well, looking at the big pile of bodies, pretty well. Uh, well, at least the Shaman lives. We lost some Nightcrawling Squick Hoppers. But otherwise, that was fine. Except you are going to be able to retreat out of range, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Lovely. Oh, you're over there. Um, well, no, because I want to keep on Clan Wars good sides if they have one. I sure I'll improve the odds. Sure. Nasty magic sure, as we continue our crawl to the north, while I do not stress too much about. Hello, you want to come in home? Are you not? It's my house now. Well, it's a little bit annoying they managed to get away. Uh, no, I'm going to ambush. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ambush and... I'm going to ambush here as well. Although we'll probably get spotted because that's a sh lot of... What happened to... What happened to my agent around here? He was around here. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's Imerick. Wait, where's Alice gone? Oh, that's worrying. Oh no, he was here and now he's disappeared. That's that's a concern. That's a concern. Uh, oh, we've also got Beastmen over there. And Archeon to kill. Oh, I, I don't know. Alright, is, is it worth finishing this campaign off? Because it seems like Archeon's broken because he doesn't seem to be moving. I'll double check. Because, okay, so Arthoriel has moved. Archeon. What, are you moving? I think he might be depressed. He doesn't want to get out of bed. And so the rest of the Chaos Horde is advancing without him. So, okay, sh should I carry this on? Because I really just want to go and duff up Archeon. Is that actually worth it? As soon as he seems to be have, having a having a strop in, in the Chaos Wastes. Um... Let me know. I'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, maybe.